Hey, Sneakers, back in the house, back in the house, back in my house. Yeah, back in my house. Okay, today we've got Lubuntu 2004.3, or is it two? Anyway, the latest release, so it's dot two, isn't it, okay? Now, I've not looked at Lubuntu for a very, very long time, and now this is not installed. We're actually running from the USB stick. I just wanted to see how it's changed over the years since I last actually used it, which is an awful long time ago. So you're just going to see what you get out of the box. Now we're using simple screen recorders to do this on the USB stick here. But I don't think there's any um, writable, writable partition on there so you can keep persistence. Or well, I couldn't find any anyway. But hey, correct me if I am wrong. I don't mind if you know what I mean. So anyway, it looks okay. It comes with LXQT or the, the Qt desktop now. So we're not using LXDE anymore. So far, so good. I've used it from the stick for around about... Uh, ooh, couple of hours I suppose over the past couple of days just on and off just to make sure what's going down so on our desktop of course we've got installed Ubuntu but we're not going to do that but so if you do install it you will get computer Ubuntu network blah de blah de blah okay why have I got trash it should be rubbish only trash for the United States and other places that have trash we just have rubbish okay anyway it seems pretty good so far I must admit Firefox is your default browser you get four boxes for Windows, or workspaces, whatever you want to call them. That's super fun. Time and date over here. Your Ethernet connection, because I'm using the Ethernet. The clipboard, your volume. It's using Pulse Audio, of course, because it is Ubuntu-based. It's using quite a bit of um, RAM, really. Well, we would say quite a bit from years ago, but now it's just nothing. So if I go to my menu, which is in the bottom left-hand corner, we look on it. And we go to System Tools, and we'll open up HTOP so you can see what I'm talking about. While recording, I'm using 1.23, 1.24, which is quite average for Ubuntu Distro to do. That's no different from Ubuntu, uh, Zubuntu, uh, Kubuntu, Ubuntu, 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 or any other Ubuntu. There is no difference whatsoever, okay? They all use about the same. But Idle was about 700. But that may be because I'm not using a proper driver. I'm just using an out-of-the-box driver. I imagine once you've got a proper driver installed, it will run a lot better, okay? An awful lot better. So we'll get rid of that. Anyway, we're going to quickly go through the menu. It's what old school we're going to do, because I've not looked at it for quite a while. We'll see what you get out of the box. Remember, you can install other stuff once you've got it installed, okay? So under accessories, we just get ARC. Oh, it's in the name. It's an archiving tool. I keep telling my students at school, computing is not difficult, okay? It's not difficult because we make the names really, really easy, like ARC for eye carving, I mean, feather pad for a pad, a text editor. So you, on other distributions, you you think it was called a pad or something like that. K-Calc, well, calculator, yeah? Really, really easy. QT pass, password. Vim, no, it's not a scourer from the 1960s, okay? That, that one, that, whatever I said before, don't worry about that. That's Vim's from a different era, okay? Anyway, but you get quite a bit there out of the box. Remember, it's over a gig download, so that's quite a large one compared to Lubuntu from, say, five, six, six, seven years ago, yeah? In education, you just get the maths, or LibreOffice maths. Under games, you just get 2048. That's it, that's all you get. Now, under graphics, you get all that you actually need, okay? So you get LX Imager, so you can look at your images. We get LibreOffice Draw, so screen grab to capture what you're doing, and your scanning program for your combined printer scanner, or if they're separate, that way, okay? Under Internet, okay, we get a Bluetooth Blue Devil send file and a Blue Devil Wizard to set up your Bluetooth, so you can send files via Bluetooth, which I thought was rather handy. So if you've got your phone handy or your tablet next to you, that's ideal, isn't it, really? Firefox is your browser of choice. We'll quickly boot it up. Remember, we are running from the stick. I'm just going to have a little quick bit of coffee. Oh, that's quite quick, wasn't it? So, yeah. Now, if I put in here, excuse me, that was my cup. If I go to YouTube, okay. Up it will come. I won't make it. No, we don't. We're going to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't make it full screen. There's no point. We just have a look at the basic ISO that you get on the stick before you actually install it. So if I put me here, so if I put me here, there we go. The algorithm has trouble with Sneaky Linux. Trust me, it really does. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that in another story. There's one I did the other day. 
Will it run? Will there be a video? Yes. Super duper. Yeah, I got that. Advert. Go away, advert. Wh who are you? Go away. So anyway, this is one I did the other day. Oh, right, I'll make it full screen just for you. Okay. Yeah, it runs okay. Not bad at all. A bit of screen flutter there, a bit of tearing, but there's no decent driver on here. But apart from that, it's super. But you do get watching picture in picture, but that's a Firefox thing, isn't it? That's a Firefox thing. Runs okay. Okay. As you can see, Firefox works super bad. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you also get a transmission client. You don't always get them. They're always quite handy. You know? Really handy. You get your IRC client and... Trojita. Oh, an email client. Never heard of it, but I'm not going to open it. You can look it up yourself. Office. It's the full LibreOffice suite. Well, as full as you're going to get, there are other bits you can add on to it. So I open LibreOffice Writer. It's how fast it opens up. Well, nothing wrong with that. A bit bright on my eyes, but there's nothing wrong with that at all, is there? Super duper. So I think once you get this installed, this will be great, to be honest with you, yeah. So in the video, you don't get a lot, but you do get K3B, which is the default to Max over yeah? if it still works good. I've not actually used it myself for quite a while. I'll use other programs. Obviously, I've installed Simple Screen Recorder, told you earlier, but you do get VLC as your media player, a good default. Stop using all these whiffy waffy ones. Go with the one that works. System tools. We've already gone through quite a few of these. Install, install system, KD Partition Manager. Okay, Muon is your package manager, so if I open them up, it won't ask me for a password here because we're running from the USB stick. Don't worry about it. This is just their package manager. It's, it's fine. It works. It must have. I've installed something. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on. What's, oh, yes. System tool. Blah, 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 blah. Get the Q terminal, a drop down terminal, a disk creator, and a QT process manager, which is that. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? Very cute. Tells me what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. You know what I might do? I might actually put this on. I've got a couple of old lappies in, in the cupboard. Well, that's got seven lappies down there. They're quite old, but they will run the Ubuntu. They are 64 bits, so it should be okay. You get LXQ settings. Okay. If we go to the configuration center, we've all seen this before. Yeah. We've all seen it before. It just does what it says on the tin. You can set up your stuff. Enough said. And what else we got there? Apply full upgrade. Alternatives, additional drivers. We all know what that means. It installs the drivers for you for your Bluetooth, Wi Fi, printers, and everything. Your network printer will show up straight away. So if I go here, I wonder if it's showing mine. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. Shows up straight away. Super. You just you don't have to do anything, it just does it for you. Yeah, nice. So what I might do, I might put on an old lap in and see how we go, and I'll let you know, okay, how it goes down. So Lubuntu 24, first look, really, for a very long time. It looks okay, but if your system is like pretty old and you want a sort of sprightly system, obviously YouTube videos won't work so good if your system is really old and got bad graphics. Okay, you'll have to just live with that. But hey, we live in hope, don't we? Sneaky Linux out. I see those by the way.